Hello my darlings, I'm Twiste and today I'm going to be talking to you about the movie that has been deemed the scariest film of all time. I'm going to be talking to you about The Exorcist. It's a story about a mother and her daughter living in Washington. The young daughter, Reagan, starts to not act like herself and her mother starts to become concerned. And her personality starts to degenerate and the mother realizes that her daughter is not her daughter anymore. Something has taken over her and she needs some serious help. So she goes to the church and they do the one thing that they think would solve it all. They try to perform an exorcism. I love this movie so much. I own this movie on DVD. I have also read the novel. Something I found out recently is that the author of the original Exorcist book by author William Peter Bailey, he actually wrote the screenplay for the Exorcist film as well. The book was creepy as hell and the movie is creepy as hell. And now I understand why. It's because the author made sure that nobody else screwed it up. And I'm so glad about that. I'm going to give you guys a fair warning. This movie, it sometimes seems to drag on. It's not going to be action-packed, action-thrilled all throughout the film. There's going to be really good key points. And it's going to terrorize you. But while you're anticipating for those moments it's going to seep into you and it's just going to make you feel extremely uncomfortable even though this movie came out in 1973 i still find it extremely effective and i think that's because the practical makeup effects are still to me amazing and then the entire exorcism scene it feels realistic it feels like it's real time plus not only that you get to bond with Reagan's mom as well as the pastors that are helping Reagan to get out of her possession. And then not only that, but when you hear the stories about what happened behind the scenes of this movie and how it affected people physically, psychologically, and emotionally, how can it not freak you out? This movie is just... Oh god, creepy all over the place. Alright my darlings, let's get down to business of what it has and what it has not. I'll let you know if The Exorcist is worth watching or may the power of Christ compel you. There are two horror cliches. One of the cliches is when Reagan starts to not feel like herself, her mom decides to go to the doctors to get multiple tests run on her. And doctors they don't know what's wrong. They say Reagan is absolutely fine. Her blood levels are fine. There's nothing wrong with her CAT scans. She's a normal girl, but it's not working, whatever they're telling. Total amount of eerie moments. There are nine eerie moments. These eerie moments made me feel absolutely uneasy. They just made me want to just, oh my God, they gave me, they gave me goosebumps. One eerie moment for me has to be when the mother actually throws a party and she thinks that Reagan is upstairs asleep. But then Reagan comes downstairs, walks in her nightgown, and she interrupts the party and she just looks at everybody and says, you're all gonna die. And then she pees on the floor. But her mother insists that she's just not feeling well. The doctors are telling her that she's not feeling well. And Reagan's just not talking it seems like she's just in this trance and it just it just creeped me out total amount of suspenseful moments there are nine suspenseful moments these suspenseful moments they just made my stomach turn they just freaked me out my heart race sent a chill down my spine everything the work one suspenseful moment and you can actually look this video up it is of Reagan into further possession and her head does turns and she's just staring straight at her mother and the demon is talking and he's saying these horrifying words 
asking the mom, do you know what she did? Your daughter? I will not say that on this video, but it's just, oh god, total amount of jump scares. There's one jump scare, but this jump scare works perfectly. This jump scare, I believe it's actually in the director's cut edition of the movie. Reagan is getting tested and she's lying down and I believe she's got like a bunch of needles in her neck and suddenly you see her eyes start to widen up and then you see the demonic white face with all black in the background. It just looks really creepy but you see it only for a split second and then it goes straight back to Reagan. And it, there's no noise. It's just normal noise from every day that's at the hospital. But it still get, makes such a strange effect on you that it just freaks you out because you've just seen the demon's face for the first time. I'm gonna give The Exorcist five out of five stars because this movie is a classic for a reason. It makes you feel uneasy. It makes you feel uncomfortable. The practical makeup effects are amazing. And not only that, but it's just the ambiance. Everything about it is just terrifying. It just sends a chill down your spine. And it just makes you feel absolutely uncomfortable no matter what you're watching. And it just leaves you feeling deprived. So have any of you guys seen The Exorcist? What did you think about it? What is your favorite exorcism movie? Please write them down in the comments below and we will have a discussion about that. Do you have a horror movie you would like for me to review? Old or new? Or even a foreign movie? Please write them down below and I will get to them as soon as I possibly can. If you liked what you've seen, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. So, until next time, my loves. <laughs>